We got the answer. And my whole thing about no immunization is chiropractic from birth. When I looked at at DE, I sat there and I looked and we had to have 40 or 50 kids in the back of the room that no drugs, no immunizations, chiropractic from birth, all of us have our appendices, we never had tubes in our ears, we all have our tonsils, and I really think that we should be getting groups like that together taking pictures, and that should be a full page ad. No, no, um, no asthma, no appendectomies, no tonsillectomies, no vaccinations, chiropractic from day one, and have hundreds of people in the picture. Right? We all have that one thing in common. Those of us that have grown up... I like this one. There's no link between vaccines and autism, right? How about some common friggin' sense? Is mercury not one of the most toxic elements on the planet? Would you let a kid suck the mercury out of a thermometer? <laughs> Apparently the only place it's safe is in the bloodstream. <laughs> right? So... It's almost like common sense has completely gotten away from our society. Just looking at the procedure, right? I mean, the thought of sticking a needle through a new baby, it's just an awful thought. It's an awful picture. It's unnatural. Common sense is not so common in this society. And I see it as much as you... You know, it's funny. I, I don't know how time goes up here, and I get all nervous to know Bill Henry's always in the back flashing that damn sign. <laughs> I remember the beginnings of newbie... Like, at the beginnings of this movement, when it was small, and all he had was his hands. Five minutes. So I'm looking for him. I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> So, common sense is not so common, right? And keeping it simple, and we're real clear with people, and I said, listen, I'm going to tell you right up front and off the bat, I don't treat your symptoms, because so this, we've been talking about this stuff forever, right? If you step on a dog's tail, it barks out of his mouth. How long are you going to medicate his mouth before you realize that's not the problem? Right? If I show him an x-ray, I think the problem is right here, damn near always. And I ask him, well, listen, I know you complain to me about sciatica and things like that, but if I step on your behind and I step on your throat, which foot you want me to take off first? That's a great question to ask somebody. They always want the pressure off their throat first. It's so simple. It's so simple to really, they get it on the mission trip because you tell it pure. You tell it pure. On a mission trip, you can't even understand their symptomatic picture. I'm sure they're trying to tell us, but you can't even understand it. You just, I'm going to clear you out. 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 You know? All symptoms are just the beginning of some sort of death in the body. And God, through D.D. Palmer, right, who was clear enough to receive it and develop it through B.J., carried on pure into this generation by Dr. Williams. And who's next, I'm not so sure. Because I don't know any of our leaders, really, that have been as steadfast with keeping chiropractic unmixed as those guys. As those guys. And that's why when that candle burns, I think about Dick Santo. I think about Bob Satilli. I think about the guys that really kept it pure. The guys that served the principle for the right reasons. Someone asked me, they said, how come my practice isn't... Why don't you think my practice is growing like I would like it to? And I said, probably because you think you're happy. Right? And if we're practicing from that perspective, I could just stop all of the outbound stuff now. I could just stop it because I'm happy. Beautiful wife, beautiful baby. I'm happy. We see a lot of people. They love us tremendously. They come back. It's, it never ends in the office, right? I always talk about the bing of the door. Bing, bing, bing. The days it never stops. It never stops. You think you can maybe sit down for a minute? Bing. No time to sit down. Never stops. Never stops. Never stops. Right? And that's how your energy gets. You start creating this vacuum of people coming your way. You know where that doesn't happen? When you're busy like meditating on maybe it will happen. Because here's the secret. Work. Work. Talk to people about chiropractic. I've heard it said before, right? Oh, they don't want to hear it. They do want to hear it. 
They want to hear the truth. Because this truth sets people free. Always. Always. So, you can meditate on it. And you can feel it and sense it and all that stuff. But you better serve some chicken or something. You better do some dinners. Do some talks. Massive action. If, we, if you got the answer, and you know you got the answer, then massive action is required. And part of the problem has been a complete and total absence of massive action. Anybody that acts massively on promoting and perpetuating this principle is busy and has rewards far beyond their wildest dreams. When I come home, I cry regularly at how many blessings are in my life. And when I look around me, you know what, guys? It's all adjustments. It's all adjustments. It's just all adjustments. So many fads have come and gone. There's always been a magical barrier juice. There's always been a magical outside-in thing that's going to change your life. The only thing, they've all come and gone. We've seen millions of them in the past few years alone. The only thing that ever stands the test of time is the adjustment. It's the purest thing we got. And I know my people would kill for me. My flock, the people I take care of. Loads and loads of Christmas presents, birthday presents. They remember my wedding anniversary. Who remembers your wedding anniversary? I got patients that bring me presents every year on my wedding anniversary. You know? Because it's really about the love. It's really about the love. And when you're in service and you're in that zone, guys, it never stops, man. You can't stop them from coming. You hear this voice? I had some rough days in the past couple weeks where you're just sweating, not feeling good. But guess what? It never stops. You serve your way out. Something that Sid always talked to everybody about. What am I going to do? You're going to serve your way out. And you start with massive action. And when you get really busy, guess what you do? Massive action. Because it's not about you, it's about them. And as soon as we get that it's about the people and not our bank account, our savings account, or our comfort, you'll realize there's so much more value in delivering an extra two or three or four or five hundred adjustments a week than it is to get a few extra dollars out of stick needles and people shooting them up with laser beams, stretching them out, heating them up, or cooling them down.